ஹரிஸ்துதி ஸ்லோக ஃபார்ட்டி ஒன் இன் ஆல் த ப்ரீவியஸ் ஃபார்ட்டி ஸ்லோகஸ் தட் வி ஹவ் பின் ஸ்டடியிங் டில் நவ் பகவத் பாதாச்சாரியாக ஹேஸ் பின் எக்ஸ்பிளைனிங் வாட் இஸ் த நேச்சர் ஆஃப் பிரம்மன் ஆர் வாட் இஸ் த நேச்சர் ஆஃப் பரமாத்மா அண்ட் தேட் ஹி ஹஸ் பின் எக்ஸ்பிளைனிங் இன் த ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் வர்சஸ் அக்கார்டிங் டு Uh, the way in which it is established in the different upanishads yet uh, the question arises jeevatma is not obtained as that paramatma i am uh, saha paramatma aham eva iti this knowledge is still not uh, fructifying in the mind why it is this question would arise so then uh, how do i gain uh, as aparoksha anubhuti that paramatma in the form of direct knowledge how do i gain that paramatma as the truth of i or my nature in other words the nature of i myself is none other than that paramatma this anubhuti how will i get so the sadhana or means to gain this kind of uh, aparoksha anubhuti uh, is further explained in this shloka so let's look at the shloka raga muktam loha yutam hema yathagnau yoga shtangai rujjvalita gnana mayagnau தத்வாத்மானம் பரிசிஷ்டம் விதூரியம் தம் சம்சாரம் ஹரிமேடே ஸோ அக்கார்டிங் டு த மீனிங் வி வில் சி தி அன்வயார்த்தக லோகயுத்தம் ஹேம யதா அக்னௌ தாகாமுக்தம் ஆத்மானம் யோகாஷ்டாங்கை யோக அஷ்டாங்கை உஜ்வலித ஞானமய அக்னௌ உஜ்வலித ஜானமய அக்னௌ தத்வா பரிசிஷ்டம் ஞம் யம் விது தம் சம்சார துவாந்த விநாசம் ஹரிம் ஈடே ஸோ லோகயுத்தம் ஹேம ஐ டேக்கன் த திருஷ்டாந்த தி ஃபிகரிட்டிவ் எக்ஸாம்பிள் அட் ஃபஸ்ட் ஸோ லோகயுத்தம் ஹேம மீன்ஸ் gold hema here means gold so gold which is contaminated with other metals we know that in nature we get uh, gold in the form of ores in the mine so gold will never uh, be available in its purest form it will always come with uh, a mix of some other metals so such gold in the form of ore that is taken and yatha agnau as even yatha means as even like as uh, agnau this ore form of gold is placed in very high heat agnau is uh, extremely high temperatures heat in extremely high temperature in such a fire when this ore form of gold is placed the other metals can be removed and then one will gain uh, gold alone in its purest form then that gold will be processed and uh, that will have its own shine similarly tatha raga muktam atmanam here raga muktam means raga dvesha kama krodha moha madha lobha matsarya iti the different emotions which are uh, negative in nature and which uh, keep one very attached to the objective world so contaminated by such emotions and impressions atmanam is the mind over here a mind which is contaminated with emotions and past impressions etc such a mind is cleansed by yoga ashtangaihi by the practice of the eight limbs of yoga sage patanjali has uh, taught in uh, the form of aphorisms ashtanga yoga we will look at the details of that 
then uh, the one who practices uh, ashtanga yoga what happens in that person uh, that per, uh, the yogi will gain knowledge and that is ujjvalita jnanamaya agnau dagdhva ujjvalita jnanamaya agnau means here uh, jnanamaya is pure knowledge of the self and that is ujjvalita brilliantly uh, uh, you know as though burning very bright in the form of fire so dagdhva is burning or destroying so burning or destroying all these contaminations uh, which are in the mind in the brilliant fire of self knowledge after you burn something will be left so when you burn objects then you know there will be a residue like that when these unwanted emotions which are the contaminations when they are destroyed when knowledge of the self arises then parishishtam nyam cha parishishtam is that which remains as though a residue is nyam nyam is pure form of knowledge that is that knowledge which presupposes creation and that is the nature of one self that knowledge remains it is self effulgent it remains independent now that will be visible so yam viduhu when such pure knowledge as the nature of the self is known to whom to the yogis so they know that that chit or nyam jnana swarupam is the nature of me myself iti so that uh, uh, chit form of knowledge which is paramatma consciousness tam samsara dhvanta vinasham hari mede i offer worship to that paramatma hari who is the destroyer of ignorance which causes samsara so for sadhana or the means to gain knowledge of the self atma gnanam what are the qualifications what are the other values that one has to acquire or the values which are to be nourished that is taken up and explained further so acharya says raga muktam the mind which is impure contaminated because of the intense desires to possess and own worldly objects such passion greed and other emotions of anger jealousy etc those which are atmanam existing in the mind of this jiva should be destroyed or removed which is referred to as dagdhva burnt then after destroying or burning these impurities parishishtancha what is left is nyam that which remains will be pure consciousness when this is known yam viduhu when this chit or pure consciousness is understood as the nature of myself nature of i by the yogis so that form of paramatma is offered prayer or worshiped to gain this understanding as direct experience ashtanga yoga practice is recommended and that is what acharya mentions over here now sage uh, patanjali <coughs> has written yoga sutras and in that he has uh, beautifully given eight limbs as sadhana to gain that oneness so yoga is the association of the jiva with brahman and then seeing that oneness unto that the means sadhana for bringing about such an association yoga and understanding the aikyam of jivatma paramatma the practice is ashtanga yoga so uh, in this ashtanga yoga every anga or every limb 
serves as an aid to the next limb of practice. It's not like they are all independent, you can uh, uh, practice anything at any time. It's not like that. You have to go in the order that has been taught. So now let's uh, look at this Ashtanga Yoga briefly as described in uh, Upanishad, a minor Upanishad and also as given by uh, or as explained by Sage uh, Patanjali. Now first we will look at uh, how Ashtanga Yoga is described in what is known as Trishiki Brahmanopanishad. Trishiki Brahmanopanishad. It's very interesting. It's a very minor Upanishad but very beautiful. A uh, lot of information is given in that a Brahmana. So Trishiki means a Brahmana who has three tufts of hair. So a Brahmana goes to Aditya Loka. That is uh, the realm of the sun. So and asks Lord Surya or Surya Devata, he asks Sun God four questions. What is this body? What is life? What is the prime cause for everything that exists? And what is Atman or this self? Then as part of this explanation, Surya Deva teaches Ashtanga Yoga as a sadhana to gain insight into the answer of all these questions. So, the Ashtanga Yoga, they are Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama, Pratyahara, Dharana, Dhyana, Samadhi. Now, we will see how this Upanishad explains each of them. So, the first one, Yama is explained as Dehendriyeshu Vairagyam Yama Ityuchyate Budhaihi. It means a sense of detachment towards the body mind sense complex dehendriyeshu vairagyam that is known as yama by the scholars then the second one anuraktihi pare tatve satatam niyamaha smritaha so anuraktihi pare tatve means uh, satatam a continuous desire to be connected with paratattva Paratattva is the ultimate truth and that is Niyamaha. Then Asanam. Sarva Vastuni Udasina Bhavam Asanam Uttamam. That is known as the best Asanam wherein there is a sense of apathy uh, towards worldly objects. So then Udasina Bhava. A sense of disinterest, apathai towards the worldly objects and remaining in that so that you don't get involved with the objects which are external but you can connect with your internal self. So remaining in that, that is described as asanam. And then uh, the next is uh, prana sayamanam or um, what we know call as pranayamaha. Uh, that is described as Jagat Sarvam Idam Mithya Pratitihi Prana Sanyamaha. The Upanishad uh, uses the word Prana Sanyamaha for uh, Pranayamaha. Patanjali says Pranayamaha, both mean the same. So, this means this whole world is only an apparent reality, it is an illusion. Such a cognition, Pratitihi, such a cognition is. Prana Sanyamaha. Then Pratyaharaha. Chittasya Antar Mukhi Bhavaha Pratyaharastu Sattamaha. So this is an even greater discipline in which one directs the mind internally. Chittasya Antar Mukhi Bhavaha. So that is Pratyaharaha. And then uh, Dharana. Chittasya nishchali bhavo dharana asau nigadhyate. It is said that the capacity to stay focused in the chosen object of thought that is dharana. Then dhyana. Soham chinmatrameva iti chintanam 
ಧ್ಯಾನಂ ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ಅ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಥಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಧ್ಯಾನ ದೆನ್ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಧ್ಯಾನ ವಿಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ಸಮಾಧಿರಭಿಧೀಯತೆ ದಿ ಸ್ಕಾಲರ್ಸ್ ಸೇ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಡ್ರಾಪಿಂಗ್ ದ ಥಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಚಿತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ರಿಮೇನಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಕನ್ವೇಡ್ ಬೈ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಮಾಧಿ ನೌ we will look at uh, how this uh, ashtanga yoga has been described by sage patanjali so remember i said i am explaining all this in brief uh, these are all to be studied and understood extensively so patanjali has uh, given uh, uh, the ashtanga yoga in sutra form aphorisms and then uh, vyasacharya has written beautiful commentary on that explaining that now patanjali says that a mind which is not matured enough to pursue gnana marga such a mind should be disciplined by ashtanga yoga then he takes up yama yama yamaha is described as ahimsa satyasteya brahmacharya parigraha yamaha that is ahimsa satyam asteyam brahmacharyam aparigraha these are known as yamaha so uh, in general yamaha means restraint of the mind and how do you gain that restraint of the mind what all should be practiced for that he says first is ahimsa harmlessness or non violence kayena vacha manasa in thought word and deed one must practice non violence then satyam truthfulness is to be practiced and uh, how do we understand truthfulness it is speech which is engaged for the benefit of all beings speech which is engaged only for the benefit of all beings and that which does not cause any himsa or injury that is explained as truthfulness then asteyam is absence of the desire to steal absence of the desire itself to steal that is asteya then brahmacharya is observing celibacy and then aparigraha non acceptance of any kind of gift so these are yamaha then the next limb or next anga of yoga is niyamaha that is uh, explained as shaucha santosha tapas swadhyayeshwara pranidhanani niyamaha niyama in general means an observance what are all the observances one should uh, uh, adopt as a way of life first is shaucham shaucham means cleanliness it includes both internal and external cleanliness or purification and then santoshah santoshah is very beautifully explained as apraptam hi parityajya samprapte samatangatah santushtah iti kathyate it means giving up what you have not got or whatever you have not obtained and then being happy with what you have in other words being content so that is santoshah and then tapah tapah is explained as uh, enduring the dualities of life the dwandvas of life that is tapah then swadhyaya is a commitment to study shastra that is swadhyaya then ishwara pranidhanam is attributing all the actions to ishwara or surrendering all the actions and the doership kartritva everything to ishwara and then remaining dedicated in spirit to ishwara in other words being extremely devotional 
so that is ishwara pranidhanam so these all together is the practice of niyama then uh, is asanam so patanjali says sthira sukham asanam sthira sukham asanam choosing an appropriate posture for meditation that is asana so that one can remain steady and comfortable in the same posture when that is taken care of one can uh, make the attempt to connect internally so first setting up that posture of the body becomes very important then pranayamaha the mind is so distracted and restless so to bring it under uh, a discipline of your choice pranayamaha is the next limb uh, taught so that is uh, described as tasmin sati shwasa prashwasa yoho gati vichedaha pranayamaha he says once the asana posture has been mastered breath control is to be practiced and what is this the separation of the movements of inspiration and expiration air that is breathed in and air that is breathed out one very consciously does that and that, that itself is uh, you know a whole uh, uh, science by itself then pratyaharaha swa vishaya asamprayoge स्व विषया संप्रयोगे चित्तस्य स्वरूपानुकार इव इंद्रियाणां प्रत्याहारः सो इट मींस इन द एब्सेंस ऑफ एसोसिएशन विथ देयर ओन रेल्म ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स स्व विषया देयर ओन रेल्म ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स असंप्रयोगः द एब्सेंस ऑफ कनेक्टिंग विद देम एंड दैट काइंड ऑफ अ Uh, a stiti in which the function of the senses will all follow as it were only the nature of the mind swarupa anukara chittasya swarupa anukara like that indriyanam pratyahara so that is known as the abstraction of the mind or pratyahara then see what we learned till now these five यम नियम आसनम प्राणायाम प्रत्याहार दीज फाइव आर स्टिल कनेक्टेड विद दि एक्सटर्नल रिस्ट्रेंट्स सो दे ऑल कम अंडर कर्मयोग और क्रिया योग देन इज धारणा सो धारणा इज ब्यूटिफुली एक्सप्लेन्ड एस देशबंध चित्त धारणा कॉन्सट्रेशन और focusing the mind this discipline involves confining the thoughts to the chakras that one can uh, that is one can focus upon each chakra or you can confine the thought to a chosen deity some devata swarupa or it can be one part of the chosen deity because many times one cannot uh, uh, focus on the whole deity as such so then even one part of the deity can be chosen so you see this is where all the shlokas uh, given by uh, bhagavad pada acharya ha and other acharyas they become very very relevant and significant so any verse of praise any shloka on any devata can be chosen to practice dharana then dhyanam तत्र प्रत्यकतानता ध्यान से पतंजलि ध्यान ह्यूर वी कैन यूज द वर्ड मेडिटेशन द मैंड विल स्टिल कीप गोइंग ह्यूर एंड देयर बट इट इज ब्रॉड बैक इन टू फोकस दिस इज एक्सप्लेन एज द देवता और द ऑब्जेक्ट विच द साधका हेज चोस इन फॉर फोकस इन धारणा दैट थॉट continuous or uniform flow of that thought exclusively completely untouched by any other cognition this is dhyanam or meditation then more growth in dhyanam 
will naturally lead to samadhi tade vartha matra nirbhasam swarupa shunyam iva samadhi tade eva artha matra nirbhasam swarupa shunyam iva samadhi says patanjali only the tade eva artha matram the meaning the meaning conveyed by the form chosen for meditation that alone remains in other words even that form will be dropped or it will disappear automatically by the mind and then so then what remains is a merger of its own nature that is the mind will remain in its own true nature which is the truth nyam that form of knowledge that is the truth so then the differences of i am the meditator this is the object of meditation and then i am meditating it is the process of meditation all these three differences will cease to exist in samadhi there will be etat sadhya this will be the end to be accomplished and uh, that is the in the form of visualization of the self that is the tvam pada sakshatkaraha in the mahavakyam tatvamasi tvam is the self so a direct per- perception of that self this is the end accomplished in samadhi so this perception which is knowledge in its pure form that is the agni fire in which the mind has burnt all its impressions so yoga ashtangaihi ujjvalita jnana maya agnau raga muktam atmanam dagdhva such a sthiti or such a state is accomplished and this is the state of self effulgence the self is brilliantly shining in its own glory this accomplishment is explained by the example of loha yutam hema yatha agnau so when the other metals contain contaminating the golden ore they are all burnt and what remains is gold in its purest form and it shines in its own brilliance so that is the example given bhagavat padacharya he points out the significance of ashtanga yoga as a means to accomplish such a ultimate end moksha what is moksha understanding that brahman or paramatma is not different from me the i that brahman is the nature of this i the self tam harim unto that brahman hari samsara dhvanta vinasham knowing whom that knowing is the light which causes the destruction of the darkness of samsara so that paramatma hari aham ide i worship raga muktam loha yutam hema yathagnau yoga ashtangai rujjvalita jnana maya agnau dagdhvatmanam nyam parishishtam cha viduryam tam samsara dhvanta vinasham harimide namaste